Hey YouTube. Our good friends Juan and Michelle are here with their 4106. Um, as some of you may know, they are beginning from this morning online. Uh, we've known we've known them for years, obviously, because we have the same bus. Yes. Um, they're full time on the road. They've got a bad oil leak. I offered for them to come by um, and have a nice, safe, dry place to work on the bus. And we've been diagnosing the problem. So Juan's had a couple oil leaks on this bus. One was the oil cooler, which he fixed uh, before their latest sort of multi-thousand mile trip out on the road. And he thought maybe that was leaking again, but it's not. Um, and this one was kind of hard and difficult to figure out, but basically it's the oil pump. It's a gear driven oil pump. And on the back side of that oil pump, there's a large O-ring. And that O-ring is leaking between, mm, basically, I guess you would call it like the camshaft cover or the gear cover yeah. and the oil pump. And it's dripping down here onto the fan drive. Mm, I don't know, extension maybe is what you would call it. We took the fan off so we had better access here behind the radiator. And that fan just blows that oil everywhere. And the quantity of oil that we're talking about that he is leaking was somewhere in the gallon every 250 to 300 miles. So we were able to fire up the bus yesterday with it running and with the fan off and just observe where the drip was coming from. And it's pretty substantial. The really weird thing when we were looking at it is it looked like it was coming out of these hoses. You know, it's because it's pooling there, but that's coolant. <laughs> uh, to top it off, there was a little bit of coolant leak happening there as well, just minor. And so that was kind of throwing us off a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's all coming from, you know, behind this where it sandwiches in with the block. I got a picture. This is the sort of exploded view. This is the culprit right here. Just looking at it. <clears throat> There's gonna be more coolant in here. We're breaking the seal on the hose. We don't have the proper tools, so we're just making do. That's gonna leak. Some crap in there. Can't get it all the way. That one, we need a bigger hook tool because this had two bands on it. Yeah, so it's probably crusty down pretty low. Yeah, and I'm not getting all the way around the backside either. Yep. Oh, oh crap, it's in the bucket. <laughs> didn't know it was dripping back there because the coolant was in the way. Yeah, it's like running down that hose. Yeah. yeah, it's running down the hose. Uh, yeah, we got a nice waterfall going there, don't we? Yeah. We did drain all the coolant out, but yeah, there's obviously some above the pump or something. Yeah. Or... Oh yeah, this one's in here tight. Okay. I can see how that would be difficult. I'd be wishing we had that other tool, the special hose removal tool. Yeah. Because that's not doing a whole heck of a lot. Do you want me to break the seal on this one? Sure. Yeah. Because you're replacing that hose regardless, huh? Right. I'm going to try to see if they have a new one. We might as well replace the hose as well. Oh, here. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Mm 
That's the tough one there. Okay, I guess that's as good as can be expected for the moment there. So that back one, I may get new bolts. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. but you don't like that bolt? Nope. What's the matter with the bolt? Is it's it just crunchy? crunchy? Yeah. And it's <clears throat> like not round. It's been stretched. Somebody torqued it and it's been stretched. Really? Look, watch. See it? It's like not spinning straight. Wow. Yep, somebody stretched it. So, so that happens as a result of torque, right? Yeah. So the torque will tweak, the, and that's, that's how you know that bolt's done. That's special, though, because yep. see how short the threads are and yep. then that? Yeah. Is that a tractor supply? we'll find supply? that a tractor supply. Is there a tractor supply around here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me get those orange things out of your way. Okay. Oh, you're gonna knock them off. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> you get those chabbing you in the arm. Yes, <laughs> there's a bolt on the back side of the water pump, which is really weird. But of course, it's hard to get to. Yeah, what I need is. Is there a way to get like some kind of breaker bar on that? Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. What uh, what do you need? A big breaker bar. A big breaker bar. Yep, and I'll pry it against the exhaust. Ooh, I heard some creak in there. You were getting a bite on something. There's a small chance I may have gotten some of that. how chewed up it is it's getting replaced one is picky about his bolts yep it's just not worth fighting them all the way in yeah <laughs> yep <clears throat> all right so, say it again that's nasty that's getting replaced <laughs> yeah look at the rust on there yeah that should give you an idea what your coolant passages look like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, i wonder if this will budge I'm sure this is crusty, musty on here. You got one bolt still kind of hanging in there, which is okay, because you don't want it falling. Yeah. But I think we need a pry bar probably to just give that to a little... Just top it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I brought you one. Is it yep. still nearby? Yeah. Is it too big for the job? No, no. I think we're good. It's behind you. It's coming. Yeah, you're getting it. One got it off of there, He-Man style. It's just brute force, really, or a lot of strength. These three hoses are real tricky, but that surface right there on the block, that mating surface there, that's what's been leaking in the O-ring is in there. Where is the O-ring? I can't see it. There's an O-ring somewhere around here. We'll see it one Is it one stuck one. on the block there? Yeah. We'll get a shot of that after it comes out. Alright. Yeah. Alright. So that's seven eighths, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Right there. Alright. So we go this way. 
we're coming down with this guy, right? <laughs> you need to hold that? <laughs> Tell the story, one. What's that? I don't know. You think it's leaking? Is this the bottom? Is that the bottom? Um, Which this is the bottom? bottom right here. Yeah, it looks like it's this O ring is flat, first of all. So if we. Yes. And it's hard. It's definitely flat. Look at that. Brittle. So oh, brittle. Yeah, so go. there it goes. Yep. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, it's supposed to be round, not square. Right? <laughs> yeah, not perfectly <laughs> flat. Yeah, and it is, it feels like a piece of plastic not flexible not, yeah very little flexibility to it so it's do you want me to get in my harbor freight o-ring collection and see if we have one <laughs> i'd rather get the detroit just, one <laughs> <laughs> they're only like that big so. yeah <laughs> i mean we'll go with that if we have to but so one likes everything clean so one will probably spend the next hour scraping this yep 100%. and then giving it like a solvent bath and a fresh coat of paint yep and then Absolutely. we're going to then we're gonna go out to the local Detroit shop. So, well, and then we, we can feel the bearings and they feel good, like this feels solid. How's so, the impellers look? Can you get so a peek in the... We can probably get a peek in them. We have to buy another seal if we break this one. So you can get the impeller on this side, mm. but we'll have to buy another seal. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Or can you look through the holes and see? Probably, can you, let me tilt it up there. Can you mm. see I need some light. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so we'll clean it up clean up and maybe get it painted. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you guys follow Juan, you know he likes his parts nice and clean and freshly painted whenever possible. So right. the uh, the pump got a nice cleaning and it's getting a fresh coat of paint, Alpine green or something close to it. <laughs> yeah, it's the metal. Yeah, the metal I think is just that. The metal's right? bumpy. No, it's weird. Yeah, okay, so let, let's talk about the square O-ring and this oh, yeah. perfect job you're doing <laughs> prepping this. So the O-ring was square. Yes, so I expected a round O-ring. The one that came out was square, but I didn't expect the one going in to be square. So it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a squarish profile. And so now I'm just, I'm cleaning out the groove just to you know, make sure we don't have any grime in there to make a leak. And we bought a little bit of grease and I've cleaned out the other area. Um, I've started to clean that out. So that should be coming up pretty first, but the, uh, pretty soon. But there's no play in this pump and it all seems really solid. So I think I'm just, I'm gonna put it back in, so. And you retapped the one I that retapped this one and I've actually tapped both of those in there already. So I ran the tap all the way down, ran it all the way up, put a little bit of PTFE mm. lube in it to make it go a little bit smoother. And um, yeah, it should be good. So these hoses, you went to all the auto parts store and you could not find this size, right? Right, yes. So, but they just, at Hillsboro Diesel, they said these were just like ones that had been cut. And so they they actually just gave them to me. Okay. And they said, yeah, these are, you know, these are the right sizes and we've just, you know, they're just cut. So we can't really sell. What pieces. size are they? I don't know. He they said these are the ones them. that fit. <laughs> so they're all three the same size? Nope. No. No. Okay. In fact, this one. Oh, it's on there. Good. Oh, Just leave yeah. it on there. You can see if you want to compare sizes. Yeah, with this one, these will actually fit inside that. Inside mm. that. Yeah. Are they all three different sizes? No. I think they're two different sizes. Like at least the ones we the had. These two are the same. And if we look at the original ones that were on there, I believe those are the same mm. too. Mm. So these are, you know, these aren't terrible, but you know, if we got new ones, absolutely, put new ones, ones on. on. So. I'm gonna try these. 
Hopefully they don't leak. One, right? It was seven eighths. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wouldn't it be funny if this was the wrong thread? No, that wouldn't be funny. <laughs> That wasn't too challenging to get on there. Juan just had to use a little He-Man strength and push it in there, and we got get it lined up, get the holes lined up, and Man. boom, it's in there. It's good. I thought that was going to be a couple hours, and it was more like 15 minutes. <laughs> Our coolant on the road, right. unless we're at your house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these 4106s, it really sucks to get the coolant in because the, the fill is so high off the ground. But Juan and Michelle discovered that this Harbor Freight, like $11, 11 or $12 pump, pump, works perfect. And it's got a thing that goes down in there so you can yeah. stick it in the jug of antifreeze. The coolant's brand new, and so yeah. we saved it in these five-gallon buckets. Well, they were new five-gallon buckets. New five-gallon buckets, but also as brand new coolant, right. you didn't want to spend, what, 20 bucks a gallon or something yeah. like that yeah, for this stuff, yeah. or 12 bucks a gallon? Yeah, about 12, yeah. 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 yeah all right. standing right in the smoke zone there. Yeah, you're going to get smoked. All right, I better, well, I want to look at the pump and all stuff, right. but all right, go for it. Ready? Yep. You ready, guys? Hold on. All right. You got clean lenses? Well... Cold start. Cold start. Ready? Here we go. That's not the steps. That's good. Now let that let that soak for a thirty seconds or something. Yep. Okay. No, that wasn't a long enough soak yet. Hit it. Okay, I'd stop. Your muffler's leaking in a few places. Yep. Did you know that? Right here. And there's one over here on this side, too. Is there? Yep. Yeah. You can see a little rust hole right here. There's so one on the see. inside, too. Okay. Yeah. Might be time for a glass pack, huh? Resonator. Yeah, big, resonator. big resonator. <laughs> Make the jake sound good. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, surprisingly quiet. for me. I, I think it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hit it. So we figured out where the oil is coming from. It's not the big O-ring that we replaced. All right, we figured out what's going on. 
this is a section view of the water pump and there's a drain here and this drain allows water to drain if the water seal fails but it also allows oil to drain if the oil seal fails and so that's what's happened is it wasn't ever this big o-ring it was always this internal oil seal there that's failed so we've got to source some parts a rebuild kit or a rebuilt pump for Juan and Michelle and we've got to drain the coolant and yeah. replace the pump or rebuild the pump Fortunately, we're in a relatively decent sized city and we can source a lot of things locally. With any luck, these guys can get your hands on some parts tomorrow with a little bit of luck and maybe a few prayers. Mm -hmm. So we spent a good part of yesterday figuring out where to get either rebuild parts or a new pump and Juan found one, actually many, at PC Industries. Mm -hmm. They overnighted this to us. It was reasonably priced. And we're just comparing the, the, gear, and the gear, the helix angle of this gear. Um, looking online, there's some confusing information out there that's saying, like, left-hand water pump. Mm -hmm. But on this 8V71... There's only two accessory components, according not according to my knowledge, but according to someone I trust, um, that there's only two components on this that turn left hand, and that's the crankshaft and the oil, oil pump. pump. Water pump turns normal rotation, but these gears could be a different helix angle, evidently. So uh, we got it here. We're comparing it. It looks good. Yeah. Uh, Juan's going to paint it because he thinks this is going to rust. Yeah, well, there's one that's rusted before. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> is all fixed up and ready to hit the road. We're boondocking in the driveway, got the solar out. Getting some cloudy Oregon sunshine. Harvesting solar there. <laughs> 